Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Newell and this is my 19 week pregnancy update. Again, time has just flown by this week. It's crazy. So this week my baby is the size of a mango and my due date is still September 15th. My next doctor's appointment um, with my OB is next Monday of 20 weeks and then we have our ultrasound on Wednesday. I am so, so, so excited, counting down the days, getting more excited as the days go by, but I'm also starting to get a little bit nervous about our anatomy scan and um, mostly just because we didn't do any genetic testing and, you know, We've had two ultrasounds before, but you know, they were pretty early, so they don't really show anything there. Um, and so we don't really know what could be found. You know, this is the the time when they're looking for heart defects and other organ defects and all kinds of stuff. So it is a little bit scary going into it, just hoping that everything is clear and good, but I don't know. Um, also, for you moms who have done the 20 week anatomy scan, do you have any tips for me? I've never done an abdominal ultrasound before. Please let me know in the comments any tips, tricks you have. We are really hoping that baby will show us <laughs> what gender it is. Um, so please talk to me in the comments below because I need all the help I can get. Symptoms this week are pretty much the same. I'm still on Unisom and B6 for the morning sickness, and I am just so hungry. And I didn't mention this last week, but it was the same for last week. I am just starving all the time. Like, I have to constantly be eating because I am so hungry. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just this time um, in the pregnancy, but oh my gosh, I am just eating, eating, eating. I'm also getting little odd pains all over the place. Um, definitely some round ligament pains and just weird sharp pains in my legs, hips, all just strange little things like when you move or sleep or just I don't know there's just pains all over the place and it's really <sighs> par for the course um, a very very exciting thing that happened on Saturday night I had had a really busy day and I came home and I ate dinner and I laid down in our recliner and I suddenly felt movement and it was the weirdest thing. It was like being poked from the inside. So I've never had this with digestion. I mean, I have had a lot of gas issues and I know what that feels like. This was like something was poking my belly, um, under my belly button on a little bit on the right side, a little bit on the left side. And like some of them were just kind of like taps. Some of them felt like the muscle spasms that some people describe movement as. And then some of them were a full-on jab, and it kind of hurt. <laughs> it was like, whoa, yikes, that's, that's kind of powerful. Um, so I don't know if you could tell from the outside if you could have felt that or seen that, um, but there was some crazy movement. And I felt a little bit later that night, and in the last couple of days, I felt little bits here and there, but nothing that strong. Uh, so, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that was uh, baby keeping. My emotions this week have been pretty normal for the most part. It's been a really fast week. I did work several days, and so it's just flown by. Um, I have had a few very sensitive mama bear moments where people would say things or um, I heard that people said things and I would just take it so personally because they were talking not really but it seemed like what they were saying was about me and my baby you know and I got all defensive I'm not gonna go into what the actual stories are but um, yeah 
I'm definitely feeling very passionately protective of this baby and that's something that I definitely didn't feel in the first like I don't know, even maybe 16, 17 weeks. I could definitely tell in the last like two or three weeks I have become much more attached, much more bonding because now I'm starting to feel movement, I'm starting to see my belly grow. You know, it's really getting real for me. And, you know, really 19 weeks, this is almost, this is pretty much halfway for us since we will be having a C section at 39 weeks or before. And if I haven't explained that whole thing, the reason that I'm having a C-section is because I do have Crohn's disease and I have active disease um, where I have fistula tracts and things. The doctors really believe that there could be some severe damage if I do try a vaginal birth and so they really have encouraged me to stick with a C-section and um, I am all for that because I have been through five surgeries already and I really don't want to have more than I absolutely need. Um, and the permanent damage that could happen is not something I want to deal with at my age. So that is why I'm having a C-section and why I know so early. Weight gain this week, I gained another two and a half pounds. So my total weight is up seven and a half pounds from pre-pregnancy. Cravings and aversion this week, I also didn't mention this last week, but I have been craving corn on the cob. And so I had it last week and we're going to have it again tonight. I just, oh, there's something about corn on the cob. And I've also been really craving um, watermelon and like fruit salad. So I've been getting cantaloupe, um, honeydew melon and watermelon and just eating fruit salad all day long. It's amazing. Still craving ice cream. And also I got this week some Trader Joe's little the little mini um, chocolate covered peanut butter cups oh they're so good <sighs> yeah I need to cut down on my sugar that's for sure essential oils this week lavender for um, relaxation I put gentle baby in a diffuser necklace actually this weekend and that was really nice just helped kind of calming and it's really good on the nerves and the emotions I also used a little bit of valor um, this weekend when I participated in a um, boutique and was running a table and needed a little bit of courage. <laughs> Preparations for baby and baby buys. This is the big section so I'm going to try to run through everything. Um, this week I have been working on the belly book. Um, I mentioned this in one of my early early videos. This is by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and I got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. And it's just a really cool book that just, it has a whole bunch of stuff for you to write down and track your, all of your different trimesters um, and write about each week. So I have been writing about each week for the most part and I've been taking belly shots every week, but I hadn't printed them out. And so I went ahead and I got all of them together. I printed them all out, I cut them out and I put them all in here up until um, I think that was, well, 18 weeks. So I am now almost, almost up to date <laughs> and have just been working on completing this. And so that's really exciting. I have also been cleaning the house like crazy. And part of this is nesting. Part of this is we live in a filthy house because I was sick for so long. And part of it is that we are going to have our gender reveal party um, next weekend. And so I am like, we have to clean the house and we have to clean it right now. <laughs> so that has been something I've been working on. I also didn't mention a couple weeks ago, but I watched the documentary 40 Weeks and it's by, I believe, Big Belly Productions. I will link it below. And it's just a really cool documentary that kind of shows, it travels through, um, I'm not sure how many women there were, but several women in their families' um, pregnancies from the beginning until after they give birth. And it was just really real and it wasn't too graphic or like, you know, anything scarring. It was really just very real and very good to watch. So I highly recommend that. Um, and it just kind of put me in the mindset of the whole picture instead of just, you know, stuck where I am. 
and so that was really encouraging for me to watch. This week I also went to register at Babies R Us and so I got my goodie bag from them and I also finally got my goodie bag from Target and I just wanted to briefly talk about these real quick. Um, the Babies R Us has some really cool perks with their registries right now and so their bag only had a couple items in it and no real coupons or anything so it's okay but it wasn't anything fabulous. Target on the other hand I was actually really surprised. They have some really cool stuff in here and I was really really happy. They have some really nice um, non-toxic stuff like Honest Wipes and samples of Baby Gannics which Baby R's Babies R Us also had this sample of Baby Organics. And then also some coupons for those. So I was really impressed with that and really excited. And so it was fun getting those sample bags. And the final project that I worked on this week was making mirror boards. And these, I'm going to link below and also show a picture up here of the product that is on, that you can get on Amazon. This is an actual product and it is on one side of it has a mirror and the other side it has black and white pictures for a baby to look at and um, I think it's like all soft and super safe and everything but it was a little bit out of our budget because it's not really a necessity item so I decided to try to make my own and so I went to the dollar store and I picked up two mirrors this one has a cool little chevron pattern um, which I thought was neat and this one is just you know a plain mirror. And then on the back I printed out, I had these printouts before, of um, just black and white designs for babies to look at and so I just printed them out, taped them on, super simple and you know it's not something that I'm going to let them play with or anything but hanging up or setting up so they can just look at. Um, it's great for like diaper changes or just on the floor, whatever you need to just calm them down to. So, I made those. And then a couple of baby buys. Um, I went to the dollar store, like I said, to get those. I picked up some more baby washcloths to use as um, cloth wipes. They also had, surprisingly, these collapsible storage containers. And these, I believe, are too big to fit in like the nine cubes that I have, but um, that's not the reason I got them. I got two blue ones so that I can put the stuff in them and put them in my closet on a shelf. Because um, I've got lots of baby stuff that needs places to go. So I picked up two of those. And then I went to Target and when I was there I got these adorable bibs because I have no um, actual feeding bibs. And so it has this cute little fox and this cute little monkey. And they're super cute and adorable and I think they're like $5.99 or something like for that. Um, so those are really cute. And then I got in from Amazon my puppy. Super excited. What I did was I got um, the bare naked one, which is completely white. Um, or it has like words on it or something. I don't know. But it's it's a white, the white puppy. And then I ordered separately the 100% organic um elephant slip cover which I then put on it so that's this one and um, it's got this cute 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 little elephant up there and the back is polka dotted and um, it's got like orange ribbing and, and it's just white um, they have Bobby has two organic slip covers they have the elephant and then I think they have like the green sprout or something but to my awareness it's not usually you can't usually find them the boppy with the organic cover for sale um, or if they are it's like super expensive so I had a bunch of Amazon rewards so I ended up getting both of these which are over $50 value um, for 20 bucks so I thought that was an awesome deal and I'm super excited to have it and put it with my hospital bag and just have it ready to go and then the final thing we went and got this week 
is our mattress. Uh, this is this is just the uh, paper from it. It's upstairs. But we decided to go with the Harmony Super Lightweight Two-Stage Crib Mattress from Lullaby Earth. And let me just give a little spiel here. I'm going to do a full video on like non-toxic baby stuff that includes mattresses and yada yada. Um, Lullaby Earth is made by Naturepedic. And to my awareness, Naturepedic is one of the only companies that makes organic crib mattresses, um, at least here in the U.S. And their crib mattresses start at over $200, almost $300, I think. And they're really heavy, and I'm not sure if any of them are waterproof, but um, or at least I think the really expensive ones are. I don't know. They are a way out of our price range. So Naturepedic decided to start the Lullaby Earth line, and there are a couple of mattresses in this line. Um, they have just a super lightweight one. It's a little bit cheaper, and then they have... Um, the two-stage one, which is an infant side, which is firmer, and then a little bit softer toddler side. And um, at our store, this retailed for $1.99. And um, Naturepedic is 100% organic cotton, and so that's why they say it's organic. Um, the Lullaby Earth line is not organic, but it is non-toxic. Um, and the reason is that it is not made with vinyl, PVC, um, or the poly, polyurethane foam. That's the bad stuff that's in mattresses. Um, so basically what it is made of is that the core and the surface, it's a, wa it's a waterproof surface, so it's like, it's like a plasticky feeling. It's just wipeable. But that is all made from 100% food grade PE. I'm gonna link what the big word is up here. <laughs> and then the cushioning is 100% polyester. So it is Green Guard Gold certified, meaning that it is very low emissions, no emissions at all. And um, it's also recyclable, which is awesome. So it's fairly non-toxic as you can go. It is, but it's also economical. Um, and we were able to use a coupon and get it for a little bit cheaper. So that was very exciting. And I think that was it for 19 weeks. <laughs> so I will go ahead and show you the belly. I feel like this week the belly has kind of popped. Um, I actually got asked on Sunday by a lady if I was pregnant. And so that was the first time anybody has asked me um, without having a clue that I was. And that was really exciting because now I feel like I actually have a bump. It actually shows. And that's just really exciting. <laughs> so there we go. I think it's definitely grown. It definitely, definitely is bigger. So very exciting. And that is it for 19 weeks. Next week, I will update you on my 20 week OB appointment, but I film the video the day before our actual anatomy scan so you will have to wait till the next week for the gender reveal and then the video about the anatomy scan so um, stay tuned with us and please again let me know in the comments your tips for anatomy scans help me out um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week bye see y'all like six bucks each just regular maternity tank tops um, so I got a hot pink one